So, we might as well start with a little bit of bubbly, shall we? <laughs> so we're going to start uh, with our Prosecco. Now, this is one of the biggest selling Proseccos on the market right now. Uh, but one thing I wanted to talk about was Prosecco as a product. People see the word Prosecco extra dry and assume that Prosecco means it's really dry. Extra dry meaning really dry. Now, there's this mis... I guess, um, mistranslation with Prosecco. When you see the words Prosecco extra dry, you need to know that it means the Prosecco is slightly sweet. So all sparkling wine starts dry, which is about 20 grams of residual sugar. Extra dry is like, you know, 14 to 17 grams, and then it goes to um, brute, and then extra brute, and then zero sugar, which is like zero dosage, uh, which you've, you might have seen uh, around champagne, for instance. But it's Friday afternoon. I'm sure you're all stuck in your homes. You've all had a wonderful week working from home, and it's always a beautiful sound to hear a bottle of bubbles. What I love about Prosecco, it's affordable, it's easy drinking. You can mix it into, Negro into uh, Aperol spritzes. My absolute favorite Friday afternoon, you know like that five o'clock, just cut the weekend. Like this is my week, and then I'm cutting to the weekend. It's um, you know, one part of gin, three parts of this delicious Prosecco, and just a little bit of soda water. But right now, we're going to drink it straight. You'll notice I am drinking out of a normal glass. I don't think you need to drink out of flutes. I also don't think Prosecco, uh, you know, Prosecco can be drunk out of the bottle, but don't tell Ira say that. But what I love about this Prosecco is that you get this beautiful, like, ar aroma of, um, of white flowers and pears, and it's just so fresh, you know? And the other thing I'm picking up today which is really interesting, is a little bit of aniseed, which I wasn't expecting. Um, but yeah, I don't know if anyone's tried this Prosecco. You can give us a little thumbs up if you have. But it's a really, really aromatic fresh. It just pops out of the glass. So let's have a little, uh, little taste and see if it actually uh, lives up to the nose. Mm. Wow. That's the other thing about Prosecco. It's so vibrant. The bubbles are just, oh, it's just so zesty. Sorry, I just hit my mic. <laughs> um, the bubbles are so zesty. You know, it just, it's just, to me, it just smells celebration. And I know a lot of you might not have tried this Prosecco, but potentially have tried this one. The gold bottle, super popular in Australia. Uh, the difference between the two is that this is your extra dry style. I actually find it a little bit more balanced than the gold bottle because the gold bottles are brute. So it's drier than this one. But I do love the balance of acid and fruit in, this, in the extra dry style. So I highly recommend people trying both of them next to each other. Any excuse really to drink bubbles. <laughs> but try them both next to each other and see what you think. Uh, but yeah, personally, absolutely love this Prosecco, and, it, and it's one of my biggest delights to share this Prosecco with people. When it comes to bubbles, I'm super fussy. I'm definitely a champagne kind of girl. So when it comes to Prosecco, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit fussy. But hopefully you enjoy that. Again, if you have any questions about Prosecco, please let me know. Uh, this comes, even though Sensi, I should acknowledge, even though Sensi is a Tuscan winery, this Prosecco comes from Treviso, uh, Veneto. If you've ever been to Venice, this is the region of Prosecco. And I'm sure if you've been to Venice, you've sat in San Marco Square uh, and drank a glass of Prosecco at an exorbitant price point. <laughs> that's, uh, that's where Prosecco comes from. So that's that wine, guys. <laughs> 